Good morning, Trinity United Methodist Church family and friends. Glad you are joining with us in our online service today. Uh, This is All Saints Sunday. And uh, I, this is one of my favorite services of the year, I should say. So I hope that it is a meaningful time of worship for you as well. Let me just say one quick reminder. November 21st will be our Harvest Sunday. That's the Sunday before Thanksgiving. And we celebrate all the good things that have happened in 2021. We're going to have a, a video of highlights of the ministries and a breakfast together for those uh, who can join us 10 o'clock in the gym. And th- so we can spread out, space out, uh, have a good, good big breakfast and uh, watch the video highlights and uh, be grateful and thankful uh, for all the blessings that we have been given and that we have given uh, back to the church and back to God. So hope you will join us on the 21st and hope that this day, All Saints Sunday, is a meaningful time of worship for you. Thanks for joining us. Please join me for our call to worship. Grace to you and peace from God, who is and was and is to come. Amen. And from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead and ruler of kings on earth. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with all the saints. Amen. We bless your holy name, O God. For all your servants who, having finished their course, now rest from their labors, give us grace to follow the example of their steadfastness and faithfulness to your honor and glory, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
Our scripture reading for today is Psalm 146. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God all my life long. Do not put your trust in princes, in mortals, in whom there is no help. When their breath departs and they return to the earth, on that very day their plans perish. Happy are those whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord their God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, who keeps faith forever, who executes justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the strangers. He upholds the orphan and widows, but the way of the wicked he brings to ruin. The Lord will reign forever. Your God, O Zion, for all generations. Praise the Lord. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Our monthly mission offering for November is going to the South Main Chapel and Mercy Center. This is one of our local ministries that we support in many ways, through the pumpkin patch and through monthly giving. We support it with water and Gatorade drives. We give them upper room devotionals to put in the food bags that they hand out to those in need. And we serve a meal quarterly uh, after church one Sunday um, with members going down there pre-COVID to help serve. But we still support that financially so that they can continue to provide food quarterly for those that are in need. What you may not know is that when the Mercy Center started, it started with the support of the South Carolina Conference. Funds it received came through the apportionments, apportionments which every church, including Trinity, gives to support the ministries both near and far uh, in the conference and beyond. So when you give to the apportionments, you are also giving to the Mercy Center. So we hope that you can give as you are able to help support this ministry for our month of November. Thank you. All Saints Sunday and celebrated the first Sunday in November, a day of remembrance for the saints with a New Testament meaning of all Christian people in every time and place. We celebrate the communion of saints as we remember those who have gone on, both of the Church Universal and of our local congregation. For this reason, we will call out the names of persons within our congregation who have died during the past year. Lorraine Burrell. Geneva Chapman. Dot Connolly. William Bill Hall. Dick Harder. Carol Holloway. Dina Lake. Mary Beth Langley. Glenda Manusi. Mary Moore. (laughs) 
Vic Nessel. George Taylor. Glenda Taylor. Paul Wright, Jr. And we light one candle for those family, friends, loved ones who are not members of our congregation, but members of the Church Universal, the saints who have died this past year. Please join me as we go to God in prayer. Gracious and loving God, we come before you today filled with awe and wonder at your glory. We offer you our praise for you are more worthy than we can comprehend. We are blessed to come before you today and worship you. Today we remember those who've gone on before us, the saints that have guided and helped us to grow in your love. We thank you for the time that we had in their presence and rejoice in the knowledge that they are with you now. We give thanks for the saints mentioned here today and for the ones that are always on our hearts. We have been blessed by their love. May we continue what they have started. Lord, we confess that we have not loved as you have instructed us to. We find ourselves judging who is worthy when we should love blindly. We question who deserves mercy when we should show mercy to all. You have called us to love and offer mercy in the same way that you have offered it to us, and we have failed. Help us to love as freely as you love us. Forgive us for this and our other sins, for it, for we try, but we fall short. Guide us to grow closer to you each day. Thank you, Lord, for all of our blessings. Help us to see that you have what you have given us and be thankful in all things. Challenge us to live as blessed and thankful people, 
our lives showing to all the world that we are loved, blessed, and forgiven. Let us remember all of these things as we pray the words that Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine, heir of salvation, purchase of. my story yeah. this is my song praising my Savior all day long this is my story yeah. this is my Today is uh, All Saints Sunday, and we begin with a new three-week worship series uh, to end our Christian liturgical year, as Advent always begins the new Christian calendar year for us. So this series follows the lectionary readings um, and is called A Life That Matters. I thought it would be a good finale, kind of a follow-up to on the book of James and on the five essential practices of the Christian life. 
Um, this series, each week, um, for a Life That Matters series, we're focused on a different worship word uh, of the week to kind of reinforce one aspect of our lives that following Jesus offers us. So let's listen to our scripture and uh, see if you can figure out what this week's word is going to be from our scripture text. This is from Mark, uh, Gospel according to Mark, chapter 12, verses 38 through 44. Hear these words. As Jesus taught, he said, Beware of the scribes who like to walk around in long robes and be greeted with respect in the marketplaces. And to have the best seats in the synagogues and places of honor at banquets. They devour widows' houses and, for the sake of appearance, say long prayers. They will receive the greater condemnation. He sat down opposite the treasury and watched the crowd putting money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow came and put in two small copper coins, which are worth a penny. Then he called his disciples and said to them, Truly I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all those who are contributing to the treasury. For all of them have contributed out of their abundance, but she, out of her poverty, has put in everything she had, all she has to live on. This is a word of God for us, people of God. Thanks be to God. So what are some of the attributes uh, that help us grow into living a life that matters, both as individuals and as communities of faith and, and transformation? That underlying question is what really matters to you, to us? Over the next three weeks, we'll discuss three attributes out of many uh, this is not exhaustive by any means. So three out of many attributes that will help us make, uh, make a life that matters. So the first one, this week's worship word of the week is... Generosity. Did you get it right? Generosity is defined by the act of giving freely to others. I brought with me this uh, charcoal picture right here beside of me. High school student did as I was preaching on this lectionary text back in 2006. Now, I have no idea what I said back then, but I remember Caitlin drawing this young, beautiful woman with these haunting eyes, giving her last two coins, giving all that she had. It's funny that, that the text just simply says a, a poor widow. And in my mind, I had always pictured this old woman. Did you do that? Or have you done that? But Caitlin, obviously... Uh, did not picture her that way. The text doesn't say anything about her age. It just says she's a poor widow. It's funny how our minds fill in the gaps uh, for us. Anyway, this picture hangs in my office today. And she stares at me. And she challenges me. And she reminds me of generosity. The act of giving freely to others. That's a great stewardship message, right? And it goes much deeper than just tithing and, and finances. Jesus sets up a contrast here. Redefining the kind of life that we are called to live. On the one hand, we have, quote, beware the scribes devouring the widow's houses. And on the other hand, we have, quote, she has put in everything she had, all she has to live on. One group lived for self, wanting, 
hoarding, grabbing a hold of everything that they could get their hands on, while the other gave away, lived for others and not for self. Jesus told his disciples, she put in more than all those others combined because they put in only what they weren't going to use anyway. They put in of their excess, their leftovers, whereas she put in her whole life. You know, the translation here in the New Revised Standard Version that I use is all she had to live on. But Greek geek here, right? I found the Greek to be much more meaningful. It says this, Holantan bayan atos. The whole of her life. Bayan comes from bios, which is where we get the word biology from. Biology meaning the study of life. So the direct translation here could be she put in her whole life. That's the type of life Jesus is calling his disciples to. It's not just about our possessions and money and stuff that we are to hold lightly, but even our own lives. Our lives are not possessions to hoard, but to give away. To give away is a blessing. To give away is an act of gratitude. To give in service. That is generosity. The act of giving freely to others. And of course, we have the ultimate example in Jesus, right? But we have other examples as well, don't we? That brings me, brings us to All Saints Day or All Saints Sunday. All Saints is one of those moments where we celebrate and we remember those who have gone on. We remember them because they are still a part of us, shaping us, mentoring us. Maybe not in a direct way like they once did, but in a real way nonetheless. We are who we are in part because of who they were. Members of our families, members of our faith community. Because of the generosity that they showed in giving themselves to us and to others, they made it easier for us, showing us the path of faith and love. So we give thanks for those who have gone before, whether immediately or historically. And through them, we remember that they are companions with us still. And with them, we remember that we are all on our way, on our way toward the kingdom of God. So today we remember not just the poor widow and her generosity, that she gave her whole life, but we also remember and we celebrate all those who have given their all and thus are examples for us to follow. Today we give thanks for the saints of God, not because they are perfect people. None of them were, and none of us are. But because in their living, in their struggles, in their successes, in their generosity, we discover ways to make a life that matters. I should also say here, that all saints is a perfect opportunity to say thank you to those who are still with us, who light our way, who direct our paths, who are examples of generosity that that we see each and every day, giving freely to others. So here is my challenge for us this week. It's twofold. Number one, give 
thanks. Give thanks to someone who lives a generous life. Go find them and tell them, thank you for your example. It makes me better. And the second one is to take time to examine your life, your generosity level, and then to commit to building a life that matters. We give thanks for the saints of God living and those who have gone on. Let us build a generous life, one that makes a difference, a life that matters. May it be so for you and for me. Thanks be to God for all the saints. Let's pray together. We give you thanks, O God, for all the saints who ever worshipped you. They left their mark on the earth for you, for us, for our children to come. Thank you, God, for the tremendous sacrifices made by those who have gone before us, for their generosity they showed and the joy they brought in our lives. Bless the memories of your saints. May we learn how to walk wisely from their examples of faith, dedication, worship, and love. Amen. Now we join together in our closing benediction. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May God's face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May God give you the grace never to sell yourself short. Grace to risk something big for something good. Grace to remember that the world is too dangerous for anything but truth and too small for anything but love. So may God take your minds and think through them. May God take your lips and speak through them. May God take your hearts and set them on fire. Amen. Go in peace. Have a great week. Hope to see you soon.